For today's video, I'm going to show you how to do minor modification to your uh, 2005 Chevy Silverado to allow uh, LED headlight bulbs to fit behind these housings. Uh, I'll show you in a second, but the way the housings are set up, your normal uh, two, 9005 and 9006 bulbs are pressed right against a plastic uh, panel right behind the headlight housings. So when you try and put in one of the um, commonly designed LED headlight bulbs, they don't fit because they have a big heat sink behind them. So, but for, at least for the high beam here, which is what I'm going to do today, um, you can cut out a little bit of plastic and now you can fit that bulb uh, back there again. So the bulbs I'm putting in today, these are from Bosla. Uh, this company reached out to me and asked if I would put a pair of their bulbs in a truck, uh, in the truck, and let you guys know what I think about them. Um, so far, first impressions, they're, they're made pretty nice. Um, they feel substantial, they don't feel cheap. Here's one of the bulbs right here. And what I like about it is they've got it shaped the same size as a regular bulb, right? So that tells me that the light is going to emit from approximately the same point that it would from the film in a regular bulb. Also, I like that there's an LED on both sides. Okay, so there's going to be light protruding from both sides of this both sides of this chip. Um, so this goes in just like a regular 9000 bulb on the back of the housing. You see, this is what we run into as far as the, the depth clearance, right? So the, the old bulb is only about half this deep behind the socket. But now if you try and put this in without doing any modification, this won't fit. This will just press against the plastic and you won't be able to clip that headlight back in. So let me show you, removing the headlight, putting this in, I'll show you the section. Uh, in the middle of that, I'll show you the section where you have to cut out to allow the extra clearance for this. So here we go. So on this generation Chevy truck, you're just gonna lift this rod here, slide it sideways, get it out of your way. And now you can tilt this headlight forward, bring this side out, And this whole housing comes right out for you with no no tools. So I've already unplugged these, okay? But uh, when these are in place, if you look down there, that's the high beam bulb we're gonna be working with today. And that presses almost all the way against that plastic back there. So we're gonna cut away some of that plastic. And this is the low beam side. Same type of problem. There's plastic in the way there too. So what we're gonna have to do here, I've already test fit this a couple of times. What we gotta do is we gotta cut straight up until about here and cut straight across. So basically we need to cut here. Then you can bring it up like this, okay? And then I'm gonna cut a line straight here also. You don't need all this room. You only need to cut this area here, but I don't see the sense of just having this extra piece of plastic just sort of dangling here. So I'm just gonna cut the whole section out. Straight line here, straight line up, following the side of this rib as close as we can, and then just take maybe a 45 degree down. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna use an oscillating tool. This one's from DeWalt, but uh, you got a, a whole lot of other companies that make the same type of oscillating tool. You can get them in a corded and uh, cordless option. A straight line following this rib. Now that side's totally loose, okay? And I'll just take a, I'll hold this so I don't lose it. And that's all the room you're gonna need for the, uh, the high beam. So if I wanted to modify for the low beam, I would cut all of this out here, okay? And I'll just show you. I'm not doing low beams today, but I may at some point. So I'm gonna cut up to this line at the top, this line on the side, I'm gonna follow this line on the bottom. One more small cut right here on this side of the rib will make this free. And now you have plenty of room behind the low beam side also. Because there's tons of space back here. You know, they just decided to make that a little hole a little bit smaller when they designed the truck. So making those cuts like that will allow you to install LED bulbs that have the larger heat sink. And this one has a fan on the back a lot. And that's a common design for these now. So, uh, Hopefully this helps you. Um, once again, these, these ones came from Bosla. 
Um, let's see here. Their website is bolsla.com and uh, could be a good could be a good version to check out if, if, if you're in the market for them. Okay, so obviously this is a daytime comparison because um, I'm working during the day, but this gives you an idea what the driver's side new Bolsa LED looks like. It's a lot whiter, and I say it's a lot brighter. Um, the passenger side is still like the old yellowish color, not as bright, not going to give you as much uh, definition on the road. So that kind of gives you a little bit of a look of how that, uh, how that can change with the new LED bulb.